I heard a weird sound at the arcade. Should I go check it out? All right, here we go. Okay, Explorers, I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Huh, guess there was nothing. What's that? Wait, what's going on? What is this? <laughs> you didn't think you could get rid of me that easy, did you, Marbar? Oh no, that sounds like the Vault Master. That's right, I'm back. And with a grudge, Marmar, no one steals something I've already stolen. I have some big plans for Marmar Land, and you're not going to get in my way. Oh yeah, wanna bet? Indeed I do. Try getting yourself out of this one, Marmar. There are 10 obbies in this arcade. You'll have to complete them all if you want to get out. <laughs> Good luck. 10 obbies and I'm trapped in here? All right, explorers, we got to find the first obby and beat it. This looks like it. Escape the ancient pyramid. All right, explorers, let's go. Explorers, look, I'm in the desert. Wait, I think I'm in Egypt. Oh no, I don't know anything about Egypt. How am I supposed to escape this obby? Don't give up yet, Marmar. Huh? Hello? Who's that? My name is Cleopatra, oh. queen of all Egypt. Oh, hi, Cleopatra. Do you have like a nickname? Can I call you Cleo? Sure thing. Cool. Um, you're, you're the queen of Egypt? Since I was 17. So you must know a lot about Egypt since you were the queen. Can you help me get through this obby? Absolutely, I can be your guide. Marmar, how do you think we're gonna get inside there? I have no idea. Um, have we tried the front door? I don't know if that's gonna work. You know, sometimes in Egypt, they love to booby trap things. So normally to open a door, you have to find a lever. Booby trap? What, you mean like, like, booby traps? <laughs> like arrows and stuff? Yeah, Egyptians love to hide stuff, especially valuables and their monuments. So a lot of times it's kind of tricky to get in. Uh-oh, Explorers, I don't know if I'm ready for all of this. Do you think we can navigate these booby traps, Cleo? I think so. I know a lot about it. And I think the first thing to do is maybe find the lever. The lever? Okay, Explorers, do you see a lever anywhere? I'm gonna zoom out again. Do you see a lever anywhere in this map? That is a face, that is a beard. That is a goblet of fire right here. Okay, uh... Lever, any- <gasps> Explorers, I think I see a lever. It's right here. Cleo, I think nice I found one, a lever. Mama. Oh. I did it. I did it. I pulled the lever. Nice. Oh, the door opened, Explorers. Okay, Explorers, I'm kind of nervous of going into here because of the booby traps, but I feel pretty safe with Cleo. The structure in front of us is called a pyramid. A pyramid. I'm not gonna touch this green stuff, but we gotta be very careful going through this pyramid because Cleo already warned us that there will be booby traps. <gasps> you get, it, you go ahead and I'll catch up to you. Okay, there we go. Nice, okay, good job. Awesome. All right, the next section. <gasps> Whoa, Explorers, there's lava here. Cleo, there's lava here. Oh! That's the Egyptian symbol called Ankh. It means life. Life. Oh, that's actually really awesome because it, it, it's like marking where we have to jump, Explore. See, like life. So we got to jump on the Ankh. Here we go. Perfect. Ankh. All right, here Ankh. we are. Ankh. Let's do this. Ankh. <laughs> Come on, Cleo. You can do it. Yes. Ankh. 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 Nice. <gasps> but, oh my, Cleo, I there's a so. lot of lava under us, though. <gasps> here we go. Gotta walk straight. Okay, here we are. We're going across. Oh yeah, going across here. Keep our balance, here we go. Balance, Cleo, don't fall in, okay. Here we go. Oh, here we go, nice. We got this. All right, let's cross the bridge. Ah, easy enough, easy. Okay. Oh, those here look we... like scaffolds. Yeah, on the wall. Should we jump on them? We actually use scaffolding like this to build huge stone monuments like the Temple of Hathor. Using only scaffolds. Yeah, you'd climb up. That way you could like build up and people would climb to the top. That way you could reach the really high points. Whoa, like we're doing right now. This is, wow. We got a checkpoint, Cleo, nice. Yes. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay, 
Here we are. Oh, wait, wait. What okay. is what is that, Cleo? This that is one of the booby like traps. Booby trap. Yep. Do you have a name for this booby trap? I'm gonna say the the giant roller of death. Okay, get in the wall, Cleo. <gasps> 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 Cleo? Did you make it, Marmar? Okay, I made it. Did Come we on, Cleo. make it? Come on, Cleo's coming. All right, it's all coming, right. Cleo. Run, it's run, coming. run, run, run. Gotta go. Ah! Come on, let's go. Okay. We got another checkpoint though. Explorers, we did yes. it. We just we We're escaped the it. roller barely. Good job, Cleo. High five. There, we use strategy. Ah. We eat that guy. We're doing awesome. Oh my gosh, what is that? What are these pointy sticks? I'm afraid of them. So if there's this many booby traps here, what you're telling me is there's like a, an awesome treasure at the end of this? There has to be. <gasps> this is really well protected. Did you hear that? There's an awesome treasure at the end of this because it's so well protected. We're gonna get some treasure. What I'm practicing here is making sure I am... I see that the, the pokey sticks are coming up. Now I'm waiting for them to go back down and I cross, right? And you just have to time it just right that you don't get hit by them. See? Like that. Oh, look! More scaffolding, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Okay, let's... Oh! I almost fell. Cleo, be careful. Okay. Go. Oh no! Ah! I died! No! I died Jumping across. Why? Why? Scaffolding! Jump! Okay, now I'm gonna look at that one. Ah, see, that's why. This is kind of like an illusion. It's a very good booby trap. They like put this scaffolding right next to this scaffolding. So then if, when you jump on, if you aim for the wrong one, you'll just fall like I did. But see, I can now see that this one is actually closer. So I can just jump to that one. And then I can jump across. Nice! We did it! Good job, Explorers! Okay. Okay. Okay, we did it. Cleo, okay, nice. Wait, are we- do we have to jump down there? I think so! Alright, let's do it, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, jump! Woo! 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 Yes! And we got a checkpoint! A checkpoint, checkpoint, yes! Okay, let's talk to Indy over here. Step on the lever to open the door to stop the closing walls. Okay, he just told me that. Oh, what? What? Oh, no, the walls are closed. Cleo! Oh, this is definitely another booby trap. Oh, got it. Quick, 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 quick. All right, explorers. This is another thing about timing. Basically, you want to watch the box, see. Oh, no, see? It, oh, what? What? How did how does she do that? Wait, I want to try that. She invincible? What? <laughs> it didn't work for me. Oh, no. How did oh. she do that? Wow. <laughs> Wait, that was awesome. Oh, no. Okay. So basically, Explorers, my strategy here is I'm timing the boxes. I wait for it to come down, and then I run. I wait for it to go down, then I run. I wait for it to go we down, and then I run again. Run. Come on, Cleo. Wait for it to go all down. All right. All right. We got this. We got this. Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous. Okay. Here we go. Now we got to jump across these. Don't touch <laughs> the poison. <laughs> Cleo. No. It's okay, I'll wait for I'm you. I'm coming back. Nice, Cleo. Oh, Cleo, Cleo, what is that? No! <laughs> we gotta go, ah, Cleo, Cleo! <laughs> There's like a fireball thing. What is that, Cleo? Here we are. Oh, no! No! <laughs> okay. You got okay. this, Mario. We gotta run, let's go, we gotta go under. Wait, we gotta wait, Cleo, come on. Let's wait for this ball of fire to go across again. Oh. In my opinion, a queen shot. Oh, Cleo, come back! Where are you going, Cleo? Oh, gosh. <laughs> we're going! Oh, we're oh. going! <laughs> okay, let's go, Cleo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's jump in the hole. Here we go! Ooh. Checkpoint. Nice. All right, another checkpoint. Awesome. Is there any treasure here yet? Do we find any in here, Explorers? Whoa, look at all this sand. Wait, let's see if there's any treasure in here. Uh, I don't see any. Okay, yeah, no I don't treasure. See any. Oh, but you know what? Oh, wait, is that treasure over there? Cleo! Where? Look! These are called hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics are a writing system that uses picture and symbols instead of letters and words. That way you can tell a story with pictures. For instance, when I came to power as a queen, I told my story on these walls like pictures. Wait, so instead of like using words, you guys drew pictures? Yeah, they were essentially our written words. Oh, okay. Well, let's get a closer look at these. Let's see if you can tell me what they say. Oh no, ow, the lead is not real. No. Mama, no. no, it's okay, it's okay. Oh wait, he's right there. Okay, I'm right we're here. Good, we're good. Oh. oh no. Okay. Okay, let's go across. Here we go. We're gonna run. Oh, Cleo, is this safe? There's treasure there, but I feel like this looks too easy. Do you think it's gonna break up? I don't know. I think know. we should go fast. Okay, let's go ready? fast. Three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Ah! Okay. We did it, Explorers! We found Oh no! Ah! 
What is happening? No, not for the trap. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay, well, uh, I'm assuming, Cleo, we don't touch the ground. It looks like lava. Molten hot yeah, lava. Yeah, I, I would say. So definitely. we gotta just jump across here. Um, and then we're gonna jump here. And then we're gonna jump over here. There we go. What is this? I got it, I got it, I got it. Whoa, I just broke a secret wall. Secret wall? Yeah, secret wall. Okay, did you guys have lava in your pyramids? I don't think so. Wait, what about but this? This could be a special one. What about outside here? Oh, yeah, here? We we're, yeah, we're definitely back in Egypt. Really? Yeah, look at all the greenery. Uh, Wait, so you're saying all this green stuff? I thought Egypt was only desert. Actually, Alexandria, where I'm from, was a port, which means on the sea. So we had plenty of greenery and water, not just sand. Really? Yeah, it was like a giant oasis. Wow, that sounds beautiful. Yeah, Alexandria is the place to be. Ah, I touched the spiky guy. Okay, hold on, I will meet you there, Cleo. Give me a second. Okay. Oh no! No! Wow! No. All right, let's go, Marmar. <laughs> Use your Egyptian knowledge. You got wow. this. You learned so I much. I really feel it. I feel the knowledge. <laughs> I feel it. Oh, right. More. Okay, more. Oh, this is like, this is like a uh, stone scaffolding. Yes. Yeah. All yeah. Right, wow. Go. This looks solid. Okay, what is this guy here? Do we have to jump? Oh, we did. Yeah, I jumped. Okay, I'm going to be jumping on this guy over here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Is that the exit? <laughs> Oh wait, my god. Is this the exit to the pyramid? I don't know. There's no way. Explores. Wait, no, this isn't. Oh, maybe we're, not. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. This looks exactly like Alexandria, though. Really? Yeah, look at how you got the waterfalls and the greenery. Everything's so beautiful. Wow. I'm impressed. I, I want to come visit uh, Alexandria when I get out of here. Is it, uh, is it as dangerous? No, definitely not. It's actually, we were one of the biggest trading ports. So there is all sorts of treasures there. Really? Here we go. Uh, There's someone oh. glowing at the end of that? A What's key? happening over there? I think there's a key over there. Oh! Okay, that's gotta be the key to get out. Okay, I got the key, Cleo. All right, let's do this. Okay, Cleo, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Man, these are very well disguised. It's hard to see, like, the ground <clears throat> from the actual stones. Yes, it's part of the booby traps, remember you taught me about? Mm, I know, yeah. Where do we go? Oh, I almost fell off. Okay, hold on. I have uh, a feeling we're pretty close, Marmar. Go. Yes. Okay, we got the key. Awesome. Let's see if this unlocks it. Come on, Cleo. Okay, okay oh here we gosh, go. Oh my the exit. Oh my gosh. Is We're this the there. exit? Okay, Is it? careful with oh, the no, lava. lava. Oh no! I'm no. gonna start over again. Oh no! Over again. I'm just kidding, Swords. We don't have to start over. I got a checkpoint. That's what checkpoints are. We can start right here. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, but those are golden gates. We. This has to be it. I think golden gates are the exit. I don't know. We have to be careful, Cleo. We have to be careful. Remember last time. Okay, here we All go. All right. All right. Explorers, we did it! Cleopatra, Woo! thank you so much for your help and teaching us all about Egypt. Everybody, Explorers, thank the queen. Thank you so much, Cleo. It was very nice to meet you, Marmar. I wish you the best of luck on your obby journey. Farewell, Marmar. Oh, no! Cleopatra and her battle tactics. Ugh. I thought for sure I had you this time, Marmar. But don't you worry. You still have nine more hobbies to complete, and I still have plenty of time for my plan. <laughs> He's always so cranky. Abraham Lincoln. Albert Einstein. Abraham Lincoln was the coolest person in history. Have you ever heard of E equals MC square? Lincoln didn't do that. Albert Einstein is the coolest. You're both wrong. <laughs> Paula was the coolest. Who? She was a super famous painter and a totally awesome woman. I didn't know women did cool things in history. It sounds like you need a lesson in totally awesome women in history. Welcome to the History Mystery Machine. This game is about some awesome women who were pioneers in these job fields. Wow! How do you play? Oh, simple. You have to use the clues in the history mystery machine to guess what job the totally awesome woman is famous for having. All before 
The Marmar timer runs out! Truck drivers? Navy captains? Those sound like boy jobs. There's no such thing as girl jobs or boy jobs, I use. That's right, Hayden! Girls can grow up to be anything, just like boys. With that being said, Hayden, you're up first! Sally Ride defied gravity with her job. Maybe she was a circus performer or a magician. Those are some good guesses, Hayden. But let's use our clues. Let's think. We're in space. And you have a space helmet. Oh, wait. What if Sally Ride was an astronaut? Because there's no gravity in space. Exactly. Bubbles, is Sally Ride an astronaut? That's correct. Sally Ride was the first American woman making her a totally awesome woman! Totally awesome woman! Ah, that was a great warm-up. Oh, I forgot to mention that you got to match the next four women to their jobs before the Marmar timer runs out. Or, you get pickle pie! <laughs> oh, I hate pickles! Bubbles, you should have told us that first! <laughs> then you wouldn't have played! I have no idea what pickle pie is, and I don't want to find out. Let's do this! Ayush, you're up next! Junko to Bay had no problem with high heights. Hmm, high heights? Was she an airplane pilot? Afraid not, Ayush. Junko kept her feet on the ground as she explored new heights. Try again. Time's still ticking. OK, so what is high, but still on the ground? Well, we are standing on top of a mountain. Yeah, those are pretty high. But what kind of jobs can you do on a mountain with an ice axe? You can climb them! Was Junko to Bay a mountain climber? That's correct! Junko was the first woman to climb Mount Everest, which makes her a... Totally awesome woman! Okay, Marmar, here's your hint. Amelia Earhart was miles above everyone else. Hmm. Let's use our clues. We know she was miles above. And it looks like we're standing on an airplane runway. And Hayden's wearing a funny looking hat. That's called an aviator hat, Ayush. It keeps your head warm when you're up high. So what job starts on a runway that takes you way up high that you need an aviator hat for? That's right! Amelia Earhart was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Wow! No wonder she was a totally awesome woman. Totally awesome woman! Wow. Oh no! The timer is running out! I don't want to get pickle pie! <sighs> Here is your clue. Shirley Chisholm was elected to her job. To be elected means that people have to vote for you. What kind of jobs do you have to win votes for? Clowns! You have to vote for being funny, right? A game show contestant? Cereal boxes, best vegetable, best cowboy, a scuba diver. Let's use our clues. Ayush is holding a gavel, and this place looks pretty important. What's an important job that people have to vote on? <gasps> Bubbles, did Shirley Chisholm work for the government? Correct! Shirley Chisholm was the first African-American woman elected to Congress. Another totally awesome woman. Totally awesome woman. <sighs> Last one. You ready? The men Katie Sowers trains 
wear uniforms. Hmm. Who wears uniforms? Firefighters, plumbers, airplane pilots. <gasps> Police officers. Uh oh. You better hurry. I can smell the pickle pies now. Can we have another clue, Bubbles? Sure. Katie Sowers just became the first woman to do her job in the biggest football game ever. Oh, football is a sport? And if she doesn't wear a uniform, then she's not a player. She must be a coach. That's correct! She's totally awesome woman. Wow, she coached in the biggest football game ever? Katie is a totally awesome woman. And you are all totally awesome players! You won! You did it, guys! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Phew, I did not want to get pickle pied. Yeah, me either. Um, Bubbles, what exactly is pickle pie? <laughs> it's a pie made out of pickles, of course. <laughs> Awesome job. They sure did. Ooh, it smells terrible. Ooh. Ooh. I had so much fun in the history mystery machine. We learned about a lot of amazing women. There were mountain climbers, astronauts, and coaches. There's nothing girls can't do. I can't wait to see what all you explorers at home grow up to be. Happy Women's History Month, everyone. Hey, Hayden. <gasps> what, what, what's going on here? Oh, hi, Marmar. I made mar muffins. Here, have one. Uh, no thanks. Hayden, did you even try to clean up? Ho, ho, no. Why would I do that? Because it's the responsible thing to do when you make a mess. What is that? It's so adorable! This is a gagushling. They look cute, but they take a ton of work and responsibility to look after. Uh, Marmar? Gimme, 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 gimme! <sighs> Let me guess, you're stuck in the vines again. Yeah. Uh, I'll be right there. I, I I can't watch the Gagushling and go get Ayush, but who do I leave it with? Uh -uh. No. No way. Uh, fine. But listen, Gagooshlings can be very unpredictable, so make sure to follow all of these instructions. Everything in the book, Hayden. Okay, geez. Geez, what a drama queen. It's just a puffball. What's the worst that could happen? Step one, keep an eye on the Gagooshling. Step two, wash behind its ears. Step three, blah, blah, blah. It's muffin time! <laughs> Calm down, Cloudy. It's just a gagooshling. Yeah, that's even worse! That thing is a menace! <laughs> Aww! And it has like a thousand instructions that go with it! Did you read them? Uh, I skimmed 
find it. Step three, walk the gagooshling. Hey, you should probably read the rest of the instructions. I've got this, Cloudy. It just has legs. No biggie. And it's probably just hungry. Aww. <laughs> Rule four, feed the gagooshling. Boom, see Cloudy? I didn't even need the list. I'm a gagooshling watching whiz. Yes, don't feed it more muffins! a long time to sink in quicksand. Geezer. Not geezer. What? What geyser? Whoa! Oh, farts. 
Who's quick now, Quicksand? Nature ain't got nothing on Ayush. Hey, Hayden. Is everything okay? Uh, yes. Really? No shenanigans? Yep, totally fine. Great, because I'm on my way back. What? Now? Hey! Who put this booger web here? Ugh. Actually, give me five minutes. We have to get the gagooshling back before Marmar gets to home base. <gasps> All right, no more Miss Nice Hayden. Manual me, Cloudy. if someone takes really good care of them. Aw, oh, it never grew a horn for me. Man, Hayden, you look terrible. Yep, that's the cost of owning a pet. Marmar, that was way harder than I thought it would be. Maybe I do need to work on being more responsible. Yeah, rollerblading is way harder than I thought too. I'll probably just stick to roller skating. That's very responsible of both of you. I'm really proud of you. Hayden, you did such a good job looking after the gooshling. Maybe you'd like to watch this kitten puppy we found on the way back. <laughs> really, Marmar? Yeah, really, Marmar? Yeah, maybe we should. What Cloudy's trying to say is, I'd love to. This is the best day ever! Oh, hey look, the Marmar geyser's going off. Oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> You're in my world now, Marmar! I don't know what sign you are, but I know what sign you're not! The exit sign! <laughs> Oh, wow, this place gives me the creeps. Ah, I don't know where to go. Um, exit door. Where are you? Island is so weird. There's just trash everywhere. He's obviously a hoarder. He's just collecting everything and stores it here. Explorers, why do you think the Vault Master brought me here? Let me know if you see anything that might be an exit. Oh my gosh, it'd be so easy to get lost here. Look at all, the, what, where am I? I have no idea, everything kind of looks the same and weird. Oh, is that a treehouse? Maybe there's an exit in there, explorers. Okay, oh, I love treehouses. Oh, this place looks friendly. <laughs> okay, maybe not so friendly. <sighs> what do I do now? There's no way I can complete this course. Oh, come on, Marmar. I know you have more guts than that. Okay, what? Who are you? I'm Junko Tebe, the first woman to climb Mount Everest. Whoa. You climbed Mount Everest? 
I did, but not without trying. There were many obstacles I had to face. Oh, many obstacles. Hey, Junko, would you help us through this obby? It would be my pleasure. All right, explorers, let's get into it. Let's see what this obby's all about. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 okay. Wow, there's dinosaurs and stuff in here, explorers. Check this out, ready? I'm gonna jump over here, jump over here. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, explorers, it's all about timing. I'm gonna time this one just right. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, I made it. Oh, uh, one, two, three. Okay, okay, this is the farthest I've gone, Explorers. Here we go. Timing, I just gotta take my time. The perspective in this game is so interesting. Wow, this looks so cool. Here we go. Oh, oh, I almost fell. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, jumping on the. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, uh, I'm on a rooftop of some sort, Explorers. Do you see a way out? I don't see a way out. I guess we're just gonna keep going straight. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't die. I didn't die yet. Oh, no. I, I can still survive. Wait. Please, I don't wanna. No. Oh, I died. All right, guys, here we go. Whoa, wait. This is a new map now? What? Oh. Uh, I gotta beat it. Uh, yes. Oh, this is actually so fun. <laughs> oh, oh no! Ah! Explorers, I think the obby changes every seven minutes, so I have only about six minutes left to get this right, guys. Uh, here we go. Yes, okay, wait, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just trying to time everything I can perfectly. Perfect jumps, Marmar. No mistakes. No mistakes at all. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yes! I'm getting so far. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh! Oh! No! Ah, this obby's impossible! How am I supposed to do this? Even when it seems impossible, you have to keep trying. If I gave up every time I struggled on Mount Everest, I wouldn't have reached the peak. You're right, Junko. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay. I don't want to fall. Okay, so right now we're going through the blue zone, which I don't know what that means. Oh, please. Okay. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to be focused and focus on this, but like everyone's running around me so fast. Like, wait, those are my friends, Gerald. Gerald, wait, wait. Oh, okay, this is the crazy part. <gasps> no! Okay, this is the crazy part where I get launched. Here we go. Bam! Okay, here we go! And then I'm gonna get launched again. I gotta catch up with my friends. Okay, whoa, what is this? It's like a cool ramp, rainbow ramp. Look at this. It's like green and then blue and then purple and then pink. And then pink again, and oh, am I about to get launched right now? Yeah, no! No! Junko, help! I need you! It's important to survey your surrounding. That'll help you navigate the obby. Junko, how do you know so much about obbies? Well, I've been mountain climbing since I was five, so I know a thing or two about adventures and obstacles. Ten? If you can mountain climb since the age of ten, then I can definitely get through this obby. A good strategy here would be to get a running start. That will give you lots of momentum. Momentum is how I got at Mount Fuji. Okay, momentum, momentum. How do I keep building this momentum like that, Junko? Like that? You like, oh, like that? Oh my god, oh no! Too much momentum, my head fell off. Wait, Mount Fuji? I thought you climbed Mount Everest. I've climbed all seven of the highest summits, including Mount Everest, Mount Fuji, Mount Vincent, and the Matterhorn in the Alps. What? All seven? Explorers, if Junko is brave enough to climb all seven of those mountains, I'm brave enough to make it through this obby. That's the spirit, Marmar. Mm. Oh no, how did I overjump that? Marmar! If you can make it all the way to the blue blocks, I will let you out of this obby! Thanks to Junko, I think I have everything I need to make it through this obby. Let's go! Here we go. Huh. Huh. My strategy explorers right now is to just 
you know, accept anything that happens and just like figure out how how am I gonna overcome this obstacle when it happens? Like, okay, do I jump on it or do I just like wait to jump on it? You know, like what do I do? Oh, oh, those are like almost hidden. What? Okay. What? Oh my, this is so fun though. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, these are almost invisible. Now we're going up. Mm, mm. Okay. Jumping. Nice. I just gotta hit. This invisible box over here again. Invisible box, yes. One more, one more box. One more box, one more box. Yes, okay. Okay, let's go, Mamar. How is everyone getting through this part? I feel like I'm never gonna make it through this obby. Don't let others get you down, Mamar. When I was in college, the men's alpine club wouldn't let me join. They even made fun of me and refused to climb with me. But I didn't let that stop me. I made my own mountaineering club just for women. What? The boys didn't want you to climb with them? That's mean. They t everyone should climb with each other. Good for you, Joko. I'm glad you made your own thing. And you made it work out. Huh, <sighs> Explorers, I think I'm stuck. Would you like me to help you? No, no, I got this, Joko. Okay, maybe not. Marmar, it's okay to tell others when you're finding something difficult to do. It's a great idea to accept help from others. You're right, Joko. Two minds are better than one. Yes! Yes! You're right, Joko! It worked! All I had to do was time it right and get a good rhythm going. Uh, I, I hit my goal, Explorers! Oh man! You got a Mount Everest climber to help you? No fair! Not to worry, you'll still never find the exit door, Marmar! <laughs> Explorers, we did it! We completed the Vault Masters Challenge all with the help of our friend, Junko Tepe, environmentalist, mountaineer, and author. It was nice meeting you, Explorers. And remember, everyone can do all that they set their mind to. It takes hard work, determination, and asking help from others every now and then. Bye, Junko! Catch you soon!